So it's June 19th, and as you can see, the boat's back upside down again. Um, sides are on it. I think I showed you that in the last video, but um, that's that. And then I've um, trimmed this down with a router and then rounded over the edge, um, putting the bioxyl fiberglass over this part here. Um, so I've already done that on this side. So this has all been fiberglass now. Um, that's just curing. I'm about to do this other side over here. Come along pretty well. Um, yeah, and then this piece, once I do this and then sand it down, um, then this piece will be ready to go outside and then the piece that's outside the front end of the boat will come back in here. And uh, I'll doing, be doing the same thing on that, installing these pieces, putting the side, the lower parts of the side on it and at that point it'll be ready to put the front and back ends together uh, which is a big step this was pretty hard to tip over um, to rotate this you know right side up so I got these you know this pulley systems that I have hooked up to uh, help to do that but um, it's getting heavier and heavier the more stuff I put on it so I uh, had happened to have a couple of there were a couple of guys around um, doing some uh, work putting solar on the roof of this um, of this garage and uh, so um, they nicely came in and gave me a hand flipping it over um, it was uh, it, it was working and it was you know doing fine but I'd gotten to a point where it was sort of like up on its side and um, I felt it'd be better if I had somebody steadying it while I um, you know while we lowered it down and, and that kind of thing so that worked out fine um, but uh, when this whole thing's together, all 32 feet of it, that'll definitely be a big, a big project. So thinking about how I'm doing that in the future. But that's the update for today.